Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we have a very important topic and I would like uh, you guys to listen carefully. Uh, and this is my message to the Muslims who always get upset from me. And I understand, I'm not expecting you to be happy from what I'm doing. Uh, but this is my challenge to the Muslims, is to use their brain and not to judge before you listen carefully. And I do the same to the Christians. Don't judge Islam in a negative way until we prove that it is negative. And you better do that yourself, not based on what I am telling you, uh, which means if anything I say is not based in, on Islam and it's not convincing, <clears throat> you better search yourself and find the answer. You know, Muhammad, he always faced a big failure in his mission many people they would think that Muhammad was victorious Muhammad was victorious only when he started using the sword as a gang uh, to enforce his belief and his religion however he was really a big failure in his mission look what Muhammad he said as an example in this hadith uh, this is in Sahih al-Bukhari and this is very authentic hadith he said had only 10 Jews amongst their chiefs Believe me, uh, by the way, you see, this is the Muslim translation. In the Arabic, it doesn't say amongst their chiefs. It says only 10 Jews. Actually, let me show you the hadith in Arabic, just to show you that Muslims, when they translate, they have no dignity and they false fiction things. Because the point of saying, uh, if ton, 10 of their leaders uh, believe in me, and if the hadith doesn't say that, it's mean this is a, this is a fiction, this is a, a fabrication, and the Muslims are the best to fabricate, because they assume that you do not know Arabic, therefore, you know, we can lie to you, and you have no idea how you will know. So if we go to the hadith, and this is the hadith in the front of my eyes, as you see it in here, this is the translation between two brackets, always by the way, when you see between two brackets, it means the Muslims are telling you, they are telling you, we are lying, okay, we are adding things. So it doesn't say in the hadith that, this is why they put it between the brackets, in Arabic in the front of me it says, لَوْ آمَنَ بِيَ عَشَّرَةٌ مِنَ الْيَهُودِ لَآمَنَ بِيَ الْيَهُودِ So Muhammad saying clearly, if only 10 of the Jews believed on me, the Jews will believe in me. So Muhammad, he was not able to make not even 10 Jews believe in him not 10 leaders as it says there in the translation so why muhammad he failed to make the jews believe in him now for sure the jews they've been taught carefully about who can be a prophet of god who cannot be a prophet of god uh, not because only the ethic muhammad he don't fit with the ethic not because muhammad is not from the jewish lineage uh, not because Muhammad he has no miracles but Muhammad he has no prophecy to be a prophet anyway like it's funny that Muslims they call Muhammad a prophet but there's no prophecy of this man actually all his prophecy became to come a lie not a true as we remember in chapter uh, 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 you know Al Anfal, verse number 65 and 66 where he said uh, uh, that uh, 10 of you can fight uh, you know uh, 100 and uh, then we find that uh, that was not a true you know the Muslim they went to war and they lost and then uh, Muhammad he make right away a verse after saying Allah he found right now a weakness in you so he enlighten your task and other other false prophecy when Muhammad he said the the moon is the, the the judgment day is near and the moon is split uh, and the, there's no moon is split and nobody witnessed that you see when the moon is split the whole world should see that and historian around the earth this is not something something to uh, to forget to mention this is the moon and just to to remind you if the moon is split in arabia people in europe they will see it in the same time because zoom time is very close to each other and at that time, especially at that time, the Roman was in the borders of the, uh, what is called today the Arabian Peninsula, which is Syria and Jordan and Israel. So we are talking about the same 
location and yet nobody ever from the Roman or even the Persian or anywhere in the world or even India India is not far away from Saudi Arabia by the way it's just across the sea uh, you know you can go in uh, six uh, hours trip uh, in, in the sea and you will be in uh, uh, in Pakistan uh, <coughs> so nobody no historian ever mentioned that the moon split as the Muslims claim and then he said the judgment day is near and you know this was a false prophecy mentioned 1400 years ago and still the judgment day is not near so when Muhammad he said if then Jews believe in me the rest of the Jews will believe well that's because there is no reason for anyone to believe in you because you fail you fail in every way in every mean and today our video is to prove to, Muhammad, to, to prove that Muhammad was nothing but a failure to prove that he is a messenger of his God who he claimed to be a God and he could not provide any proof of that but actually our video is more deep than just proving Muhammad to be a false prophet by a false prophecy there is more evidence that Muhammad was extremely a false prophet uh, if we go to the Quran as an example in chapter 64 verse number 11 you can read any translation you want and as you know I don't approve any Islamic translation however I use it just so Muslims don't say this is my translation uh, according to the Quran as you see in front of me nothing no disaster no bad things can happen to you unless by the leave of Allah so I want you to keep that on mind no bad thing ever can happen to you except by the leave of Allah what does that mean to make it simple if a car accident happened to you it is Allah who made it happen if uh, if somebody kill you it's Allah who made it happen if uh, if you win the lotto it's Allah who made it happen and because this is a good thing what what it's meant here by the way it's about the bad and the, the good not only the bad so anything will happen to you it's by the permission of Allah which means nothing will happen to you unless by a permission of Allah now some of you might say well I believe as a Christian that nothing can happen to me unless God approve it this is not really true you see God he created us this in this earth and he you know he gave us a free will to do things and free will mean I can do things without his inter, you know, in, in, intervene so if I want to kill somebody it's not Allah who asking me to kill him it's not uh, Allah or you know uh, if, if, if I am a Muslim I'm trying to, to speak to the Muslims uh, if I'm a Muslim then in this case you are saying to me Allah is the one who made me kill him but if I'm a Christian my God he will not intervene and make me kill the person otherwise this is mean we Christians don't have a free will however Muslim do not believe in free will and that what is called destiny so what we are showing you in front of us right now is something called destiny it is your destiny now many people they, they use the term destiny and many people believe in it even from those who they are not Muslims but destiny is a false fiction and it's not exist for God he gave you free will to believe or not to believe to accept or not to accept this is why Jesus he said not everyone say to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so he have a will and you have a will if you decide to do your own will which is opposing his will then you will not enter the kingdom of the father so we don't believe in destiny now for sure God can intervene let us say in a special mission let us say in the life of a prophet or in the life of a special person or because you ask God with a prayer and he intervene and intervene in your life but this is not destiny all right so Muslims believe in destiny and nothing bad can happen unless by the permission of Allah so based on this uh, Muhammad he come with a story which is very very dangerous you see if you remember Muhammad he mentioned before uh, that he was uh, suffering from the poison he ate in Khaybar if you don't remember the story Muhammad he mentioned uh, or the Muslims they mentioned to us that Muhammad after he killed the people of Khaybar uh, a Jewish woman 
she cooked for him a sheep and then she put a poison in it and when the Muhammad and his companions start eating the one next to him he die in the spot right away immediately which mean he hit where the poison is so strong now Muhammad he ate from the poison but he did not infect it the same as the one who was next to him because he did not take that part uh, which is full of poison so he was infected so he was dying slowly look what the prophet here saying the prophet and sorry Aisha saying Aisha she's saying the prophet in his element of death uh, which he died uh, uh, used to say used to say which mean many many time which mean always when this man he suffer or he have a pain he say always repeating the same oh Aisha I still feel pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar and at this time I feel as my orta is being cut off from the poison so Muhammad here is confirming that he is dying because of the poison if the Muslim want to say Muhammad is wrong he's a stupid well this is your business all right now he is the one saying that you go and ask him why you are saying that we don't agree with you and the funny Muslims don't agree even with their prophet when the story Muhammad he mentioned is going to expose him for being a false prophet now what this have to do with being false prophet if we go to different hadith we will find the following this is the story where Muhammad he was poisoned by the women all right this is Sahih Muslim this is a Sahih hadith so the Muslims cannot say to us it's weak all right you see the numbers in the front of your eyes and uh, when the woman she gave Muhammad the, the uh, poison sheep uh, Muhammad after like uh, and a guy he died next to him so he asked her he called her you know Muhammad he uh, they arrested the women and he asked her uh, why you did that you know why you did that actually the story here is not accurate I tried to find it in English I could not the story in Arabic it says you killed my husband my brother and my family and I have the right to kill you all right but here in this story here in this hadith uh, she said I had determined to kill you thereupon he said Allah will never give you the power to do it hold on that is very dangerous Allah will never give you the power to do it it's mean Allah is the protector of Muhammad and he is a special one to Muhammad and there is no way Allah will let that to happen to him as you see the one who is mentioning this is Muhammad himself not the women the women she said I am determined to kill you Muhammad is the one saying uh, you know if I am uh, you know this will never happen to me because simply uh, I am a prophet of God I'm protected by God now the story here many they have many ending like here they say they did not kill her uh, right away and some story they say she became a Muslim some story they killed her it says they killed her because she killed his companion immediately based on that poison so there is many many stories about it all right now here uh, look what it says here that they are mentioned even in this hadith that Muhammad he always speak about his the poison is affecting his vulva uh, uh, and uh, and uh, 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 sorry in his uh, his, uh, his artery and always he is suffering from the pain of this uh, uh, poison uh, now Muhammad when he said Allah will never allow you or will never give you power to do it and then we find this hadith where it says that the food I ate in Khaybar is killing me the poison I ate in Khaybar is killing me that's mean Muhammad is he, he made a false statement in that story there uh, do you see what I'm saying if he is saying Allah will never allow you to do that but as we see the result is the opposite the result is uh, it happened 
obviously Allah he allowed it to happen if Allah is exist then Muhammad and the Muslims need to explain to us how Muhammad he claimed that he is a prophet of God and he don't say anything unless it's coming from God and then he say two things contradicting each other actually it is, the story is more deep than this because uh, there's many hadith about this story as we see in the front of us here I will try to make the text bigger in this page all right you will see uh, the woman when when she uh, when she killed Muhammad uh, this is one of the hadith you see there's many many a hadith here in front of us uh, he asked her why, why I wanted to kill you he, he said Allah would not let you do that they said shall we kill her he said no now in different hadith right away it says that they killed her because they have a disagreement about if they killed her or not then uh, as you see here the report differ as to whether or not she was killed it seemed that the Prophet etc did not kill her at the first but then he killed her later all right so in the beginning he did not kill her right away but then he executed her all right for a punishment now the question here the uh, uh, you know in the story when Muhammad he asked her what made you do that look what she said read it please we wanted to know if you are a liar in which case we would have got rid of you and if you are a prophet then the poison will would not harm you that's extremely dangerous let me be sure it is more clear for you guys in the screen uh, let us uh, do it this way I'm making the text bigger so you guys can see it better all right I hope it's clear so she is trying to determine if he is a prophet or not and what she will do is going to confirm that if he is a prophet God will save him if he is not we will get rid of this gang this criminal who killed my family who killed my husband who killed my brother who killed my my kids who killed hundreds of my tribes uh, then you will see the, the hadith continues saying the prophet used to feel ill because of this food do you see it used to feel so the the poison already made a damage and Muhammad was dying slowly but this is mean that the test the women she did it was a very a, 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 a confirming test because she said here we wanted to know if you are a, if you were a liar in which case you we would have get rid of you and if you are a prophet then the poison would not harm you which means God will save you and you will not die because of it but Muhammad he confirmed that he died because of the poison now we know there is a verse in the Quran where Muhammad uh, he said and supposedly this is his God talking if you remember Muhammad he made he made a, a chapter chapter 69 verse number 46 and you can read a few verses before it uh, uh, he said uh, supposedly Allah saying that if Muhammad is a fabricating Quran we are going to cut his artery all right now if he is this is a message we send down from the Lord of the world which is very strange and the proof that Islam is nothing but a, a, a scam because if the one is talking is Allah why Allah is saying is this is a message sent down from the Lord of the world who are you the one is talking I thought you are the Lord of the world and then if the messenger were invent any saying in our name we would certainly size him from his right hand and we should certainly then cut off his artery of his heart but hold on this is exactly what the hadith is saying Muhammad saying I feel my artery is cutting off
So Muhammad is proving to us in every way, in every mean, that he is a false prophet. Even the action proving it. Even the promise he make pro proving it. Because when you say to the women, Allah will never allow that to, to happen to me. Allah will not let that to happen to me. Allah will never give you power to do it. Why Muhammad is saying that? Because he is a prophet. And this is exactly what the woman she, she said to him too. We wanted to know if you, are aware, if you were a liar, in which case we would have get rid of you. And if you were a prophet, then the poison would not harm you. And you see the hadith rep reported, this is, a, this is a very strong hadith in many locations, in many books, the same story, all right? She said, I wanted to see if you were a prophet, then Allah would tell you about it. And if you were not a prophet, Allah would be rid of you. That's mean Muhammad, he fell into the test. And the funny Muhammad, he says, if you eat seven ajwa a day, which means seven palm tree fruits a day, no poison can affect you and no black magic can affect you. And later we find that he die in poison. And he is eating seven ajwa a day, which is, which is additional proof that he is making up lies about eating seven ajwa and uh, you will be saved. Nothing will affect you. Now, uh, as long we prove in the Quran, that every bad thing happened happened to you by the will of Allah and everything happened to you by the by the will of Allah and even Muhammad he made a hadith about it as you see in the front of you you can see the reference this is Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 6594 as you see here all right here Muhammad is speaking about that any you know a human being his his base in his destiny so a human being of you will be doing the will of the, uh, like his own work his own deed until there is a cupid between him and uh, you know uh, uh, heaven and then he will go to hell because Allah he will change his course and what is written for him in his destiny will take over so the one who will go to fire he will go to he uh, to hell uh, to, to heaven and the one who will go to uh, to to heaven he will go to fire because at the end of the day it is not your deeds it's not your work it's what Allah wrote for you but this is mean that what happened to Muhammad, as we showed you even in the Quran, that no bad thing, no harm can happen to you unless it is the permission of Allah. That's mean the death of Muhammad was happened by the order of Allah. Anything happened to Muhammad, it was by Allah. You can read any translation you want, but very, it's very clear. All right. Any translation you want. This is mean that Muhammad he was killed. If Allah is exists for real, and if this verse is true, that mean Muhammad was killed by Allah, not by this woman. Because remember, uh, it is not the women who decide that according to the to the, to the Quran, according to the Hadith. It is Allah. Allah is using the women to kill Muhammad. Allah is using the women to kill Muhammad. Which means the one who really killed Muhammad is. Allah, not the women. As you see in that hadith here, <coughs> hold on, it says here, then the soul breathed into him, etc., by Allah, permission, etc., and then, uh, or a man may do the deeds of people of fire, of the fire, till there is only one cupid of, uh, or, or an arm uh, beneath or uh, or uh, or a distance between him and the fire and then but but then that written which Allah he ordered which mean before you create created you proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter paradise so you do the bad deed by your will what is going to take over is the good deed of Allah will take you to heaven. Why? Because Allah, he decides for you where you will go. Are you getting the point? So all the first bad deeds you did is going to go, is, is gone. Because simply Allah is going to overwrite your deed because he wrote a destiny for you. 
and as long his destiny is you go to heaven then he suddenly you will start doing things will take you to heaven so doing the good things here it's not was not your your own permission it was Allah destiny same you will see that the same person who is was going to go to 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 hellfire uh, to heaven you know uh, uh, he will go to hellfire then and the man may do the deeds of people of paradise till there is only one cupid between uh, uh, or two between him and paradise then that is written proceed he does the deeds of the people of fire and enter it so the question here as long it is the destiny of this woman to kill as long there is no bad things can happen to any muslim unless it is a promotion of allah as we see here And as long Muhammad, he said, Allah will never allow such a thing to happen to me. And then we find that Muhammad, he died by the poison which he ate in Khaybar. All of this proved that Muhammad is a false prophet, especially even even the 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 uh, the poison itself was given as a test. To see if he's a prophet or not. If this guy is a prophet, he's not done with his mission. You know, uh, uh, he is. Uh, he's, a, he's a prophet. He have to continue. Then there is no way Allah will allow me to to uh, to kill him. But he died from the poison. Actually, he died more painful pain because he was dying slowly. So Allah did not save him, and the poison affected him badly. And immediately you see in the hadith, it's speaking clearly that always he feel bad and he feels sick because what what happened to him in that in that story so muhammad he failed the, the test of the women muhammad failed his own test when he said allah will never allow such a thing to happen to me he will never give you power over that and obviously she got the power to do that which means allah protection is false protection and him promising that Allah will protect him is a false promise and that make him a false person who make false claim and he is a liar so all of this will lead us to very simple question who is the one he killed Muhammad based on the reference we showed you it was Allah if Allah is a true God based on my understanding Allah is not exist and the one who killed Muhammad was a woman and Muhammad by saying all those statements about himself from his own mouth Allah will never give you power Allah will never allow such a thing to happen to me and um, you know I'm protected and there's no bad thing in this earth can happen without permission from Allah and etc and then we find that he died by the poison of this woman and this woman even she said clearly that this was a test to see if you are a prophet or not if you are not a prophet you will die from the poison and if you are your God will protect you and all of those things gave Muhammad failure in every way in every mean so I wanted to share this video with you and at the end of this video I would like to remind people who uh, who asked me how we can help in donation simply the donation is very simple guys uh, we have a we have a uh, this address you can go here uh, where you can uh, uh, share your uh, uh, donation you can start with one dollars uh, a month which means twelve dollars a year consider yourself inviting me for a cup of coffee to help us in our mission however if you are uh, willing to do more uh, it's up to you but this is how we start and you can cancel it anytime you want now the, the website is very easy to to uh, uh, to work with uh, you can cancel anytime your donation and you can edit it which means you can increase you can decrease let us say you said this month I want to give one dollar next month you said I want to make it two dollars you just load your account and you can change and even you can log in by using a nickname which means even from my side I will know who you I will not know who you are uh, the information you enter about your finance is going to be between you and the company not me so from my side only I can see a nickname so you can even create a nickname like same as nickname forever whatever you want to you can call yourself Tom and Jerry if you want so it's very simple very easy and we appreciate those people who they are helping us and I will see you with more videos 
Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. Thank you.